my channel. My name is Ruby. If you're new to my channel, please stop and subscribe down below. So for today's video, I will be doing a Q&A while I do my mom's makeup. And so I'm gonna be doing her makeup and asking her questions about motherhood and about herself, things that I don't know. And so I'm gonna do that today. I'm kinda excited because I wanna find out more things about my mama. Um, I just, and I saw a few of the questions and it's just questions I just never, came up so I'm excited to ask her a few questions while I do her makeup and at the end of the video I will be doing an unboxing or she will be doing an unboxing because Ana Luisa was kind enough to send me a few pieces of my choice to be able to gift to my mama for Mother's Day right now Ana Luisa is running a Mother's Day sale of 15% off all their products and if you order before May 5th your pieces will arrive before May 9th and if you're from international if you order before May 3rd uh, your pieces will arrive before May 9th so if you're still looking for a Mother's Day gift this is a really good gift to give because you can never go wrong with jewelry especially if you want to gift your mama or your grandmother pretty much anybody jewelry is the number one thing that I go for when it comes to gifts because it's easy most likely most people like it so you guys need to go check out Ana Luisa. I will link their website down below along with the promo code for the 15% off. And yeah, but before I bring my mama so I could do the makeup, I still got to talk a little bit about Ana Luisa. So Ana Luisa is a jewelry company that's focused on sustainability. They have long lasting pieces crafted with care and they have no luxury markup starting at $39. And they're also carbon neutral, which is really great for the planet. I think we should start supporting more carbon neutral businesses, companies, because the earth needs us at this moment. And so if you're earth conscious, I say you need to go shop at Ana Luisa. I will link every single piece that I've gotten from Ana Luisa from previous videos and from this video down below. That way, if you guys like it, you guys can go check them out. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring my mama so I can start doing her makeup and asking her questions. I don't think she, no, she don't know that I'm gonna be asking her questions, so it's like a little excitement for me. I don't know how she's gonna take it asking all these questions. So, but I'm excited because I need to know her a little more. Like I know she's my mama, but there's certain things I still don't know about my mama. So I'm gonna bring her out and I'm gonna do her makeup and get her ready. And yeah. All right guys, so this is my mom and I will be doing her makeup. And while I do her makeup, I'm gonna be asking her questions. And yeah, so we're gonna get to know her and I'm gonna get to know her a little more. So let's get started. So first question is, when I was little, what did you think I was going to be when I grew up? Uh oh. Nothing? No, <laughs> no. I wasn't gonna be anything? No, yes you were. <laughs> oh man. No. As in what? career yeah. or? Like what did you think I was gonna be? more into like modeling. What? Chefarita? Pageants. Oh, uh, I could see that. Pageants, modeling. Because in Mexico, I would do a lot of things for like school. It, like it's different than here in the US. In Mexico, we do it a lot. Like a lot of things for, uh, we would go to the uh, like city council. We would do little shows. We do a lot of stuff. So I could see that. Okay. Let's see. It took forever to answer that question. Mm -hmm. Do you think I have more of your good qualities or more of your bad qualities? More of my bad qualities. What are the bad qualities? Shopping. Oh, shopping for clothes, shopping for bags, shopping for makeup. Just shopping? Just shopping. No, I feel like I have more than bad. What else? Um, a little of the character. Attitude. A little, <laughs> little itty-bitty attitude. I get it from my mama. What else? That's it? But you have good things too. No, 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 but that's not the question. That's it. The question is, do I have more good or bad things about me from you? More sadly bad. Bad thing. <laughs> yeah. How are you liking the Q&A so far? It's only been two it's, questions. It's rough. It's going to be a tough <laughs> few minutes for me here. I didn't tell her I was going to do a Q&A because I didn't want her to think about the questions, so I wasn't going to get her ready. 
I don't want the truth. Uh -oh. It makes me want to ask my dad too about these questions. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, we can ask uh -huh. and compare. Uh -huh. I feel like I'm being interrogated. Yep. And anything I say or use can be again used uh -huh. against me. It will be. <laughs> I don't I doubt it. <laughs> I have it on video too. There's no. It's got proven guilty. Proof. You have. I have the, the proof. evidence. Yeah. Who was the first person you told that you were pregnant with me? Your father. Easily. <laughs> As he should be. Who was the second? Who did you tell after? Because I, I knew it was going to be my dad, but who was the second one? The second one? Yeah. Do you remember? My mom. Yeah. Okay, so next question. What would you have named me if I was the opposite gender, if I was a boy? I'm, I'm guessing I know what you're going to say. I don't think I have a choice. Uh -huh. It would have been Alejandro, Alex, like yeah. your father. Yeah. Because my, I have a brother and his name is Alex and that's the oldest, well after me I'm the oldest and then it's my brother Alex. So I figured it was going to be Alex because in Mexico tradition is you name your first born son after your dad. So I figured that was going to be the answer. I was going to be Alex Jr. Okay, when I was born did I look more like you or like dad when I was a baby? More like dad. Oh, when you find out you you were pregnant, did you want a girl first or a boy first? A boy. How about then? A uh, boy. Eee So that he would take care of the girls. Eee holly. Or here I am. <laughs> <laughs> we have the girl taking care of the boys. Uh, I always tell my husband I'm the man in the house, so technically <laughs> I am the boy of the house. <laughs> Ooh, that's a question I never asked. What, mm -hmm. what did you want to be when I... Ooh. Well... Because usually when you hear girls have big brothers, they're always watching them. Mm -hmm. So we wanted a big brother to watch you over you. I don't need watching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you remember what were my very first words? Ma. Ma? Ma. It wasn't pa? No. Ma. What? I said mom? Yes. Oh, God. Because I spent more time with me with you. Because your dad was still studying and he would leave for the week and then wouldn't be back till the weekend. Mm -hmm. So I kind of take care of you alone during the whole week. Mama. Mm-hmm. Anybody else? Mama was first? Those? Or was anybody else that said dad first? You remember? Or no? No, I think all of them were more ma. Maybe just, I don't know if it's a natural thing. Because you guys are more with mom than dad. Because dad's usually working and we're home. But your second word was teta. Teta? <laughs> teta is... Uh, what's it called? It's like asking for your bottle. Yeah. Your baby bottle. So not even dad. Mm-mm. Oh, Did you ever drop me as a baby? I didn't drop you, but you did fall off the bed. I, that's a different. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> but you fell off the bed, but I had lots of pillows on the side of the bed just in case you fell off, so you landed on pillows. Mm -hmm. And they were stacked up like two pillows, two and two and two, all around. I feel like all of those so, were crazy sleepers, no? Like, uh, you okay. and Adrian were the craziest ones. ones. Yeah. Alec, Chris never moved wherever you put him. What was the nicest thing I ever said to you? I'm more being the nice. <laughs> As a little girl? Uh-huh. Oh, it doesn't matter. Just in general. You always liked what I wore. Okay. What was the meanest thing I ever said to you? Mm. I don't know if you want to say, ah! That you don't like me? Oh, was that when I was little or what? Yeah, because I, mm, I would ground you. <laughs> I was a strict mom. What age of mine did you hate experiencing the most? Mm, I, I have an idea. Let me guess first. Guess. 
14, 15. Middle school. Oh, it was middle school? Mm hmm The end of middle school. What? Why? Because you were getting a little attitude. That's when, oh, that's when I started? Yeah. Oh. Mm. How long were you in labor? Ooh, I, I didn't, never went into labor because it was an emergency oh, C-section, yeah. like two months before your due date. Okay. Because you were having heart palpitations, you were having heart issues. I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. What is the worst part about being a mother? The sleepless nights. Yeah, that's why I don't want to do it. I like my sleep too much first because you're Who was baby. the hardest? Baby. You. Me? Ihole. Mm hmm. It's you. Why? Because I was just. I don't know if it was because you were preemie and there was more. It was just a crybaby? Yeah. Or did I get sick a lot too? No, just cry baby. What was the easiest? Chris, I would have to actually wake him up <laughs> to feed him because he wouldn't even wake up to get fed. Um, did you lose sleep with him? Uh, no. <laughs> but I had to put a set up an alarm to be waking him up yeah. to feed him because he would never wake up. Now he he doesn't even want to take naps. He, he hates He's taking naps. Animal. Yeah, it's the opposite. question what is the best part of being my mother that I have my baby girl that I always wanted even though I don't get to dress you up no more mm -hmm. or do your hair I feel like now I dress you up <laughs> <laughs> now it's the other way around yeah. now I do her makeup now I dress her up I do her uh, hair every chance I can because I don't live here no more but when I when I come over and we have an event, most of the time I end up doing her makeup, holidays, things like that. Okay. Let's see. Did I ever do anything creepy as a kid that scared you? Yes. Say it. When you would wake up in the middle of the night scared. Like you were seeing things, but there was nothing there, but you would point at something and try to hide from it. and Yeah, so half of me thinks that I was... Nightmares. Sensitive to, I don't know, maybe ghosts. Mm -hmm. Because I uh, I would be like, kind of like sleepwalking, right? Mm -hmm. My eyes would be open. Yeah, your eyes would be open and everything, but we could tell it wasn't you. But you would be freaked out, scared, pointing at something you know, really, really scared for a minute, mm -hmm. but there was nothing there. We would turn on the lights and hug you and cover you with a blanket to make you feel comfortable and safe, but you did not feel comfortable and safe. And it just happened often and often. Mm -hmm. I learned that last until when? That was it, probably, you know, you're probably what, four five years old, five years old when you were going through that phase. Oh, but when did it stop? Do you remember? Around when? Mm. It probably lasts like three years. Three years and like mm -hmm. eight, seven? Yeah. And then all of a sudden it just stopped. Mm. Yeah, so that's why I think I'm like sensitive. I don't know. Maybe I it's saw ghosts. ghosts. I don't know. You never know. Mm. But you were seeing something. Was I a fast... Faster or slower learner than everyone else in class? Mm. No, I think you were more of the faster. Mm -hmm. I got the brain. That's really smart. And on the other hand, I, I think my other two brothers started slow, but now they're really smart. Yeah. Especially Chris. Chris, yeah. yeah. And now Chris, Chris is like super smart. Yeah. He's the smartest one of them all. Uh huh. Yep. But he was slacking one year. Yeah. He confessed to me that he was just being lazy. lazy. <laughs> that he knew what he was doing, but he was just being lazy about it. He did not. Till I got study. it on a, on him for that. Yeah. For a while, I had to make sure that he was reading. I would always ask him questions, even though I didn't read the book. I would just open a page and ask questions to see if he was actually reading. So he got scared, and then that's when he started actually paying attention a little more. Okay, yep. Yeah. Oh. 
Okay, we're gonna put the eyelashes. Stand on your level. Mm -hmm. This one? This one? This one? This one? Yeah. Tiny! They're tiny compared to mine. Right. She's saying that this is not natural. Watch. <laughs> this itty bitty thing compared to mine. Lashes. Okay, so. I just like the one pinkish. Is this a new one? Is this the plus? I see. Is it? No, it's not. Oh no, so it's a little. Look at this one. Okay. Did you ever lose me in a supermarket or anywhere else? No. <laughs> Did you lose anybody else? No, I always kept my eyes on you guys. I feel like someone, if someone would have lost us, it would have been my dad. Actually, no. Actually, we, I lost Chris once. Chris? Chris walked away once. Where? At the, like at Target. Oh. <laughs> and he got scared. Where did he go? Did he go anywhere? Yeah, he called to the front. Oh, he did? Yeah. Oh, he's smart Because I had always told him that he needed to go ask for help. If he got lost. To, yeah, to ask the cashier. The, 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 what's it called? The goodest baby. And he said he really got scared. Oh, pobrecito. Okay, just keep them close until they dry. Okay, just keep them close and I'm going to move from the exist. Feel it? Mm-hmm. Which is that little bit more? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, so while she dries the eyelashes, I'm gonna ask her just the last question before I do the unboxing, or she does the unboxing. Uh, the last question is, are you happy with the way I turned out? Yes. Why? Because I'm proud of you for a lot of things. Well, I can say that I wasn't too bad, just attitude wise, but I never went for. I was never a druggy. I was never. Never gang, uh, misbehaving. Nope, nope. Or, you talk back for little things, but nothing, no big issues mm -hmm. at all. I never really went out for a while. You never gave me problems, mm -hmm. deep problems, or got in trouble with the law. No, nothing. Nothing other than the speeding ticket, probably. A lot of speeding tickets. But that's <laughs> it. <laughs> but never any major issues, or in school, or with anybody else. Mm -hmm. So no I, fights, I am no proud nothing. of you. Nothing. I'm it was, very proud of you. was a kids. pretty good daughter. She did good. Okay, so before we go, let's not forget about Ana Luisa. Like I said, Ana, Lu Ana Luisa was kind enough to send us a few pieces for my mom for this Mother's Day. So she's gonna get to open it and see what she got. And don't forget about the uh, promo code. It's gonna be 15% off. I will link it down below and along with the website. So, and I will also link every piece that she got. We still don't know what she got, so we're gonna open it. And so I'll link those down below. I will also link the other videos that I have from Ana Luisa. That way you guys can see the jewelry pieces that I got previously. And yeah, so I'm going to let her open it. That way you guys can see what she got. Okay. Yeah, pretty good. There you go. Oh, cute. Okay, okay. So, so first we have an Ana Luisa card in here. Oh, how cute the box is. Thank you, Ana Luisa. Made for 100% recycled paper. Please continue to recycle, that's very important. Okay, so we've got one baggie here. 
And we have another one here. Ooh, look at me. Okay, so open one. Oh, and there's three. Another, there's three in here. Oh, that's cute. I've never seen those bags because I always okay, got the, exciting. that one. That, but I've never seen the other ones. Okay, so do so, we start? Yeah, just open okay, them. Okay, we'll just start with one. It's a necklace. Yay! It's like a little sunburst necklace. That's so cute. And she actually picked these oh. out. So she wanted this one. And I and think this one would look cute with anything. One. Oh, this one's so cute. It's yes. kind of like the chain one I got, but like a little thicker like chain. I don't know how to explain it to you, but this one's really cute. And I think you can layer them like yes, this one and this one. Maybe we can open them so you can. And there's another one. Yay. Oh, that's a chain? Oh, yes. so that's the one I had gotten previously. So now we can match. And then this is the other one. And then she got this one. So freaking cute. So maybe we should take them out of the box and then you can put them on. Yes. And then maybe change the outfit to see how you would wear it. And let us, hold on, give us a second we're gonna change. Or she's gonna change. Okay, so I, we got the first necklace and I think it looks really cute. She got this uh, little cute jacket. And so she could just leave that one if she wanted to, but I think we could layer them. So I think I can put maybe this one because it's smaller. Like, like a choker necklace. So she has this one. So that one's more, more of a choker. Oh yeah, that, that looks one's cute. really cute. Yeah, and then it's this one. I think I'm gonna get this one. I wanna order that one because that one's super cute. And then so that's you don't have to, but you could definitely layer them up. Oh, I'm not gonna tie it up, but let's just leave it like that. And then that's how they look. Let me do a close up. It looks so cute. And I think with the jacket, it just looks so cute because it has the chains and stuff. All right, and then she got those three necklaces, and I didn't realize they sent more, because I thought There's it was just going to be a, those, those three pieces, but she got another one, and it's so cute. So she got some cute little pearl earrings, and they're so cute. I feel like these would even go with this, because it's like a very vintage -y looking, I don't know, looks very Chanel vibes right now. And this is so cute. So she got these. And then there's another baggie here. She got another bag. I feel like they sent a lot of stuff this time. So oh, she had she got another necklace, and I think I want to say like one is for me and one is for her because one is oh super cute. I don't know what that symbol means. We're gonna have to Google it. This, this is so cute because this one is the baby one. So I'm feeling I think this me. one is for her too, and then this one's gonna be for me. So we can have like a matching necklace, but let me just double check. Oh, how pretty. Oh, love create. Oh, this could be the bond between my daughter and me. Is that it? Let me see. Because I know they have like a few necklaces, this mama. Yeah, it is. So this is a mother-daughter necklace that you could get um, if you decide to get it, but it's so cute. So me and my mom will wear one of each. And that's so cute! I didn't realize that we're gonna send something like this. This is so cute. They like literally have to have something for everybody. Yeah, and it's um, so simple and exquisite. I figured because I was like, one is like a baby, one is like a mama. So that one is the one that she's gonna be wearing, and I'll be wearing this one. And that's so cute! I didn't realize I was gonna get a little something. I thought everything was gonna be for my mama, but thank you, Ana Luisa. So Alright guys, so that was the video for today. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe either down below or my picture will pop up somewhere right here. Click on it and subscribe. And don't forget to check out Ana Luisa. The jewelry pieces are so freaking cute. And me and my mama got some matchy necklaces, which I wasn't expecting. I thought it was going to be all for my mama. But now we have matchy necklaces. And if you guys want to have a matching necklace for your mama, I say go check out Ana, Ana Luisa. Everything will be linked down below. The website, the promo code. And yeah, don't forget to check them out. And until next time, bye. bye.